Hi, today we're going to do jelly printing with the plastic mats. So I've got some of my scrap paint here that I use for messy play. And let's give it a go. So, oh, sorry. Let's put, we want a lighter colour. So we're going to start with a lighter green. And give that a bit of a roll there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use, I'll just put that to one side, we're going to use one of the mats and we're going to press into the mat. I'm just going to roll down with the clean lip of Rhea. This is just out of a little kid's craft kit. It comes in handy for this kind of thing. Just give a little bit of pressure. Like that. And then when you take that off, you get the indent of the pattern. And with this, you can press down onto another sheet of paper, which I'll just do off the side of the camera there because I cannot fit it in and just roll over the top of it on the piece of paper. And you can use that as a stamp. I mean, it, you can't quite see it, but it's there. It gives a nice little subtle image. It would be better if I had done it over a um, already jelly plate, a piece of paper, but it will come in handy. I'll just put that to dry. Right, so we're just going to let that dry a little bit and just use my heat gun, but I'm not going to go too close because I don't want to melt the jelly plate. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a dry. Okay, and then I'm going to put a darker colour on top. I could do like a mixture with different tones in there. So I'm just going to bray this off. Just clean my bray out the side there. And I'm going to, th I think I'm going to use, um, let's see. Hmm. Let's take a little look, see what I have. I think that is a bit of a pearlescent blue might look nice. So we're just going to spray some of that on. I'll plop some of that on is what you would say um, and I think I might put a little bit of gold in the background too just a little bit and then we will just go backwards and forwards just like that probably be very subtle but we'll give it a go just get a piece of paper and put it down just gonna give it a can't really see it but what we'll do is we'll leave that one to one side and then when we use the next one with a stencil with a darker colour we'll go over the top of that so I'm just going to leave that to one side to dry and what we'll do is we'll put a darker colour on this time maybe that blue the first one was a bit of a disaster but I always find that happens when playing with a jelly plate it likes to be Seasoned, if that makes any sense, needs to be played with a little bit. Right, we'll use the same one, but I'm going to put it that way this time. So we'll get a different pattern, different texture.
Okay. And I'm just going to press the patterned bit on that sheet of paper that I just did, just to clean it off really. Can you see? So you're kind of using it in both ways. You use it that way and then as a stamp. So we'll let that dry a little bit. I'm going to put a much lighter colour on the back so that it stands out. Let's have a little Use that bit of that green and a little bit of lilac. These are just cheap paints I picked up in the Canary Islands for a euro each, and they're quite good actually. I wish I had picked up a lot more. Sorry, <laughs> just pulling on the wire there. I've got my camera hanging over my lamp so it's a bit unsteady I should put a weight on the bottom of it really right just put it on gently because we don't want to move that pattern if we can help it right I'm just going to put something on the bottom of this lamp. I have a house brick here wrapped up in wallpaper, which comes in handy for holding things down. Like when things, then you've glued stuff and want to keep it flat. Book pages. Right, still not quite. A little bit more pressure. You can see it on the lighter parts. But I'm going to stamp over that, I think. one side too. Now I'm going to put a little bit of hand sanitizer on. I picked this tip up from Laurie Marie, mixed media artist from Vallejo, California, soon to move to Costa Rica or Co Costa Rica. Costa Rica. She's got a great channel if you like mixed media. dilution gives your paint a little bit more of a transparent look and it dries pretty quick because it's got the alcohol in it just going to lift that off this scrap piece of paper here that I've been using to clean my brea on. There we go. Just get rid of that. So that just picks up that. Okay. Right. I think what we'll do is we'll use white. So I'm going to get a bit of white and that came out with a plop. So it's 
So you can actually use these mats to, like I say, to stamp with and also to tea stain with. Now, what I'm going to do here, because we have that, it's quite an open gap area. I'm just going to press this down on top. Sometimes that picks the paint up. I'm just going to use this actually. Picks the paint up that comes up through the gaps. See? And then you get that kind of look there. So there's many ways to use these on the jelly plate. It's just a bit of experimenting. So we have that there. That looks like a cathedral swing. I'm going to press this down on top of the bit that we did with the hand sanitizer, just to get rid of that. I'm just going to lay that down on there. Just, a little, just to clean that plastic mat off as well, I suppose. So man, that gives. Let me just see. Nice subtle pattern. So we we'll have that there. We're going to leave that to dry for a little bit. And you can also use it on tissue paper. Um, any kind of paper, really. As long as it's not too thin. Tissue, otherwise it will rip and tear. But we'll try this one on tissue. Dry that off a little bit, and we're going to use some dark colours behind the white. So let's pick some dark colours. We could go for, um, let's see, I have like a, a bronzy colour. Go for bronze. And gold. These ones you get in Poundland. Some of the bigger stores that have a quite big range of Adela Rowley paints. And we need, let's put a bit of this red. This one's from the Canary Islands too. Lanzarote. No, sorry, no, it wasn't Lanzarote. Fort Ventura that was. Right. I'm no expert on jelly printing, I'm fairly new to it. There we go. That looks pretty cool. So I'm just going to run this roll out off on a scrap piece of paper. Right. Let's put a sheet of paper down. I was going to do tissue, wasn't I? Oh, never mind. We'll do it on the next one. Because the metallic colours always look good on them, tissue paper. Still not quite there. No, still not picking up. I'll just leave it at that and we'll pick them bits up. You can't really see it. I think they work better as a stamp more than they do. But we'll try this bit on tissue paper. So I'm just going to get the tissue paper. I'm just going to use it. Just roll that a little bit. A little bit too thick. And this tissue paper has got like a, a porous side and a glossy side. I'm going to put down on the glossy side. Just 
give it a good rub. Be careful when we pull this in case it tears. Tissue paper seemed to pick it up better. The other paper is just cheap print paper. Oh, yeah, it looks okay. I'm put that one side to dry. Right, I'm going to use a dark, a dark colour here. I think I might use let's get a look. I've got a dark. I don't know if I've got a bit of no. Didn't seem to have a black there. Oh I have, I have. There we go. It's black. I'm just going to put a little bit on because I don't want it too thick. Maybe that's where we're going wrong. It's harder to lift up when there's a thicker layer of paint. Does anybody else get lines like this when they use a briara? I just got a rubbish one. <laughs> I always wondered that. Oh, scrap piece of paper. Right, let's get the try this again. Presses into the paint. Right. See how it transfers, the paint transfers onto there. I'm just going to press that onto this last piece that we did. Lying that down in there. Right. Art all about fun and experimenting. There we go. That looks cool. Right. Let that dry a little bit. Back to one side. Right, what can I put behind black? Hmm. Give it a little dry first. Ah, 
Ah, that's better. There we go. That's cool. Leave that one to dry. Okay, we'll do another one with one other pattern. And for those who kind of get a hold of these plastic mats, home bargains if you're in the UK, do a two pack of these placemats and these make a really good effect. So let's try again. We will use Hmm. Let's try try some neon colours just so I can see what they look like. Put on the background, but we're going to use black on the front. So black. But what I yeah, what I think I'll do is I'm going to do something different now i'm going to pop the colors on try something different don't know if i've got a neon blue no. Don't think I have no. Right. I'm just gonna give this brea a clean with a, a wet wipe. This was just a random one I got off Amazon, but I don't think it's very good because it leaves them lines. Have a go. I'm just gonna make a nice background. Paper down onto that. And that's cool. Let's pick up some of the the black from underneath, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring some black onto here. to the side there. I'm just going to put a little bit of black on the roller and I'm just going to put it, just move that aside so you can see. I'm going to scrap a piece of paper underneath. So I'm going to use it as a stamp. Okay. And I'm just going to put this piece of paper back down. Move that one. And then I'm going to lay this down on the top like that and I'm just going to bring it over the top so I'm using it as a stamp the plastic mat now but look at the effect that one gives love that one it's not frilly and it's not fancy but There we go. Let's 
So, I'm glad that you've watched today. If you've stuck to the end, just want to say thank you and goodbye.